stress buster mood manager thing. So can everybody go like this? Here's the first one. Now, um, and if somebody at your table's not doing it, help them. Reach over, help them do it. Others. So, uh, can you all go like this? Now, these are your gratitude glasses. Oh, look at you with your sparky ears on. These are your gratitude glasses. See, gratitude is the joy switch. And any time, keep them on. Look, some of you going, but I don't want to keep them on. Keep them on, it's going to change your life. And, and um, any time you look at anything in your life with your gratitude glasses on, it will make you look for things for which to be grateful. And seriously, it's the joy switch. So on the count of three, look at your new best friend, your new joy buddy, and say, I'm so grateful for you, and then smile, and then look the other side. Ready? One, two, three, go. I'm so grateful for you. Smile. Other side. I'm so grateful for you. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. Now, look, look, I like those myself. I particularly like these because A, they're free and you carry them everywhere. And you know, when your clients walk into the salon, what would happen if you looked in the went, hi? <laughs> and they looked at you and you said, I've got my gratitude glasses on because I'm so grateful for you. But there are always people who go, well, that's silly. I'm not going to do that. Well, in that case, get yourself a set of these. <laughs> these are essential. You should see some of your faces. Like, she's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these work. If you want to communicate with humans, this is what you do. And, and I, I promise you, if you walk around the workplace, your salons, with these on, you will transform it. And if you walk up to your odd uh, team member and you go, I'm so grateful for the way you just did blah, blah, blah. You're one of the reasons we're great in this business. Do you know what they're going to do? They're probably going to tell their inter They'll probably go straight to the phone. You'll never guess what the boss just said to me. <laughs> and you know, have these on your head. Walk around. <laughs> put them down here. Just put them everywhere. Stick them on benches so people remember to be grateful for things. Have them in staff meetings. So you sit them on the table, and if somebody starts to complain and goes, but no, no, you know, no, say nothing. You just slide these across the table and say, would you like to tell us why you're grateful you've got a job? <laughs> See? Don't clap, don't clap, we haven't got time. These are essential tools. And then, if you think about home, how do we teach children gratitude? Normally, we look at them and go, say thank you to your brother. Say thank you to your brother. I said say thank you to your brother. <laughs> and we think that's teaching them gratitude. I don't think so. What you need to do is to get either teach them this or you get a set of these and every night at the dinner table, try to get home once or twice a week, and you sit there and go, okay, kids, we're going to talk about things for which we're grateful today. And they'll go, oh, mom, dad. If they're teenagers, don't feed them until they answer you. <laughs> Honestly, these are essential. And truly, it is the joy switch. We know that gratitude is the first step to a joy. And, and if you can um, start to look at your life with gratitude, it makes a huge difference. Now, the second one you're going to love as well. Um, this is a mood manager, right? You know when you get on a plane and they do the warning thingy and they go, in the unlikely event that the plane plummets to the earth, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. And if you're with a child, what do they tell you to do? Put it on yourself first. Why? Because if you're dead, you're useless to the child, right? You know, mom, dad, dad, mom. Dad. So you've got to put it on yourself. You have to take care of yourselves first. Because unless you're feeling great about yourself, other people don't feel great around you. So you've got to take care of yourselves first. So next time you find yourself a little bit stressed or tense or not in the best state for everyone else and yourself, this is all you have to do. Ready? You're going to love it. Now, this is the oxygen mask, and people think it's really stupid, but you know, it's based in great science. Like, all my stuff is based in great science. I just make it look funny because you'd be bored stupid otherwise. And it's like, you know, two o'clock in the morning here. Anyway, so when you do this, it's the breathing in and out that gets rid of the stress toxins. So when you breathe in, it's huge breath, and then you've got to breathe that. You can't go. Okay, you've got to blow the air out. So try not to spit on anybody as you do it. So on the count of three, you're going to turn to your one joy buddy, then the other joy buddy, and go, and 
this is a great symbol when you're at the workplace, right? If you're in the salon and someone sees you going in a corner, <sighs> they're going to know something's wrong. And they may offer to help you, or they may adjust their performance at that moment, okay? So isn't this fun? On the count of three, one, two, three, go. Isn't that satisfying? And now, now, we got one more. You're going to love this one too. Um, I was in New Zealand one day, and, and I was walking down a street, and there was a woman in front of me who had what looked like about a 16-year-old teenager next to her. And all of a sudden, the woman stops, and the girl stops, and she looks up at her mother and she says, Oh, Mom, build a bridge and get over it. And off she stomped. Now, I would have slapped that child really hard, but <laughs> she didn't. And, and obviously, the child survived. However, I thought, what a great phrase. And, and so um, I was thinking about it one day, talking in Vegas at a conference, and a meeting planner came up. And he said to me, you know that build a bridge, get over it? And I said, yes. He said, you don't even need the words. And I went, hmm? And he said, yeah, yeah. You just have to look at someone and go like this. And that's build a bridge, get over it. How brilliant is that? Like, you, for some people, of course, you have to go like this, right? However, you can use this at work in a really clever way. You can use it on yourself or you can use it with others. Like you see one of your team members and they're perhaps not doing it quite right. All you have to do, maybe they're getting a little stressed, is go. Oh, sorry. And you just keep going till they see you. And, and use it on yourself. If you're a little tense and you can't do this out loud, watch my finger very carefully. You can be standing there talking to someone else. You can be aware of the blood pressure building and you think, I have to stop this. I have to reconnect heart to heart. And so watch my finger. All you have to do is this. And if that doesn't work, you go like this. See, no one knows what you're doing. It works perfectly. So on the count of three, one side, then the other. Say nothing, just <sighs> look cute when you do this, actually. Because if you go, oh, someone will punch you. So you have to look cute as you do it. Ready? One, two, three, go. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, perfect. And so we've got gratitude glasses. We've got oxygen masks, and we're building a bridge to get over it. Fantastic. All going to manage your mood, which will help you manage yourself, which helps you manage relationships better.